America. Ciao. From the United States. This is her first Junior Grand Prix season. Sitting in third place after the short program. She'll need a 115.07 to take the lead. And she'll skate the free program to Easy On Me. from the United States of America and when I asked her coach Chris Pottinger from some backstory he said that her parents acknowledged that she always loved performing to an audience and the way in which she sold that left forward outside spiral just confirmed she is happy selling her craft and she did it beautifully. Beautiful lines and some really nice jump technique in some areas and she's really just 13 years old so she's very young she's got a bright future and she'll continue to grow and mature in the junior ranks here for a while as we take a look at the triple flip hands above the head nice and tight in the air into the triple toe loop that's downgraded or under rotated actually the judging system here here's the triple loop it's all the way around nice straight strong back on the landing with good extension the free leg the sock out a little bit of a tight landing there but later in the program 
Carries up over the pick with the triple lots. That was nicely done. Good soft knees and good flow on the landing there. And this one didn't work out quite as well. A little bit on lean and not all the way around. I think it's interesting, Ted, because when I look at the heights, Annika is 20 centimeters taller than the previous competitor. And at only 13 years of age, she must have gone through it's a gorgeous change of edge in the camel feature. She must have gone through a, a huge growth spurt, and she's done incredibly well to maintain triple triple content and, and to a set of triples whilst having that stretch so often the case that that would take a big growth spurt and it can knock their absolute core. But yeah, changes well. the timing and whatnot. But Annika's done a great job and keeping things together through that growth. This is her first year, so we haven't seen her before. And this is a nice surprise coming from the United States. And it's at the competition in Boston, the Cranberry Open, and there's a lot of nice young talent in that competition, not only from the States, a number of Canadians there as well. It was a really interesting competition. But navigating the junior ranks up into senior takes time. Not everybody makes it through, and it's it's hard as you're going to school and you're growing up, and it's a lot of hard work. And more opportunity a little bit in junior now with the Junior Grand Prix and more junior international competitions worldwide. So we'll see what happens to some of these athletes over the next number of years. Yeah, and it, it does seem that as we said so much before that the support network is massively important and Annika has an older sister named Addison and she I'm sure part of the the whole family commitment it's such a huge family commitment to be a competitive skater at this elite level that's what you need the scores, please. coach Chris said that she wanted to challenge herself artistically in both programs and so different the short and the free skate and she looked comfortable in the very different styles. 105.11 for Annika in the free program. That's fourth for the total competition score, 164.04. Annika is currently in third place. Two skaters to come.